Hi everyone, it's Catherine. So today, I am looking super oily today, but that's okay. I am not in the mood to put on makeup, so bare face is all I have to say today. Natural sunscreen, oh, that's kind of like rubbed off, and some perfume that I just sprayed on. But today, I'm going to be taking you guys with me to TJ Maxx, Walmart, and Ross. I'm so freaking excited to go into the stores with you guys. Let's see if there's anything new, anything amazing. I need to get some things as well. So I'm just gonna browse around, show you guys what's the tea at my stores. And let me know if your stores are better in these upcoming clips because sometimes there's nothing there and sometimes there's something there. So let's go ahead and let's go into the store right now. Okay, so looking right into Equal Tools, they have the best sponges or loofahs. I like the loofahs a lot here. But look at this, the little dry body brush. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok use it for soap. <laughs> and they also have little shower gloves. Hopefully I can find some that are a little bit inexpensive. This dual one, wow. And then also look down here, you guys. They have the Tree Hut Scrubs, Coconut Colada, vitamin C and cotton candy. That one smells more like strawberry though, not gonna lie. And I'm just kinda kinda nitpick a little bit more. Oh, they are in stock with the body lotion. <gasps> Why is it $8 here? I spent $10 the last time. What? Okay, it's cheaper here. Oh my gosh, go to Target to get the vanilla cashmere one. This one smells really good. They also have hems for $20 because at Kroger this costs $10. Oh man. They have this $4.99 St. Ives Soothing Lotion. Dr. Teal's is in the house right there. And they have this coconut oil body lotion. I never see this at any other stores, but they have it here. And they also have the Argan Oil Lotion as well. Ooh, this is $6.99. The EOS Colloidal Oils for Sensitive Skin. I've never seen this before. I don't know if it's new. And they also have the Cremo Shave Cream. Ooh, coconut mango and French lavender, $5.49. At this Target, they have so many of the Dove body washes, you guys. Oh my gosh, they have soothing care, antibacterial. I heard this one's really good, this one's new. And they also have the, you know, cucumber and green tea, the hydrating one, that one's really cute. And the mango one, this one smells so freaking bomb. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. And a lot of people rave about this stuff right here. This is not my favorite. This legit, you put it on and it feels like there's nothing going on, okay? Like, the, like the, it does nothing to your skin. So let me know down below if you try this and you really like it because I didn't end up liking it, okay? And then a lot of people were talking about this as well and that how it's worked for their Keturus is Polaris, blah, blah. And then a lot of people have been raving about the Olay body washes as well. And look, this one's already open, but wow. I really want to try them out. This is actually new, I think. This is the Olay drop for rough, dry skin. I mean, how does it break out? Because, I don't know, I don't think I've seen these before, but they have it for $7.99 at Target. And they have more of the body washes right here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm just trying to, oh my gosh, you guys. They have mango mandarin. Oh my gosh, I don't have this one. Literally do not sleep on suave body washes. They smell so freaking good. And I might have to cop this, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys everything I get later. But look at this caress. Oh my gosh. <gasps> the, what? Rose and Yang Lang oil? That's so beautiful. Like it's $3.99 here too. That's so cheap. They have the brown sugar one. So many of you guys tell, are telling me that it smells so freaking good. And this Lotus in Capavia oil. Wow. Oh my gosh. Clearance. Yes, let's go ahead. Let's see what they got. Melatonin. Okay, we're not here for that. Let's see what they got. Some bar soaps for sale. $3 bar soaps. That's awesome. Some coconut oil. <laughs> and some more coconut oil with a hair mask. $4.50. They have this huge thing of Shea Moisture. How much is this? $13. Okay. That's all right. And they have this raw sugar hair mask. Okay, all this is like hair products, but this is $4.50. Love the packaging. As I am playing this back, I want to get that Dove thing. I just saw it in the footage. I, oh my God, it's stupid, it's stupid. It was $9 on clearance. Literally, if you can find that Dove set, it has like the spray, it has like lotion in it. Definitely grab it. Oh my gosh, it's the best. Oh my God. Let's see what they have at the bath and body section. Ooh, a little browsing here. All right, here I see the Body Shop Coconut. This is $5.99. They also have the Satsuma. Satsuma, is that an orange? 
are you an orange satsuma uh body shop body cream they also have a rose one as well let's see love beauty and planet like i said they look a little dead but this is what they look like at the store too so i guess this is just like their usual um product of what it looks like it's 3.99 for a body lotion and they also have this as well they have the body wash too to match with it it's actually really cool so like a little set here and there 3.99 i love that they have this jason's body wash i don't think i've i think i've heard of this brand one time they have citrus apricot and white tea more citrus what else <gasps> look at this this is saltwater taffy from philosophy this looks so bougie it's 20 dollars I really want to smell it. <laughs> and they have the strawberry body butter, $5.99. Yes. Do these go bad? Let me know if these go bad. I never tried these before. And they also have this squishy red fishy. Wow, like candy. This is probably $20 as well. I have Pacifica Power Shimmer Body Lotion for $4.99. Here is this Dove Hand Cream Antibacterial. Ooh. Okay, that's really cool. This is only $2.99 and they have some pacifica body wash more love and beauty planet for tea tree oil and vetiver 3.99 that's awesome more pacifica body scrub cannabis Ooh, you know what i'm saying 4.99 that's actually a really good deal you guys that's a perfect deal if you love pacifica they have the coconut cream body scrub wow and then oh my gosh you guys i saw this at the freaking walmart this is the shower mousse <gasps> shower and shade this is only 3.99 and I saw this at the store the other day. What the heck? Why is it doing here? That's actually really freaking cool. I'm not sure how you use this though. Like, like let me know how you use a shower mousse. That's interesting. They have some Dove Beauty Cream Bars. The white bar, of course. This is $3.99. A really good deal. And they also have more of these Dove uh, Minis. This is a $5.99 set. It has the gentle one, a deeply nourishing one, and also a little loofah really perfect deal for a starter kit okay so we're back unfortunately there wasn't many things at raw so i didn't really bother to take videos but i did get one thing and a couple things at the target and stuff from tj maxx so where should we begin i'm going to show you guys what i got at ross first just because it's one item it's gonna be quick it's gonna be harmless it's gonna be a-okay so the one thing that i did get at ross is this dove go fresh restore nourishing body wash this is apparently blue fig and orange blossom i never had a blue fig before had a regular fig let me know if you had a blue fig before but this you guys i got the bar soap in this recently at ollie's and it's like a grocery discount store this stuff smells so heavenly so fresh a little bit sweet from the fig and i am literally obsessed oh this was so good this also cost 6.99 which is a really good deal for these really th big things the one thing i don't like about this body wash little format is that's so big and also like this little spigot so the spigot is like so different than how they normally have it so that's probably why they had this at ross but I'm really excited for the scent nonetheless. I think this is like one of my favorite scents other than the mango one. They have the amazing, the most amazing authentic mango scent from the Dove body washes. If you love mango, definitely give that one a try. So that's the one thing that I did end up getting at Ross. And then we're gonna move on to Target. I got so many finds just because everything was like 20% off. So freaking excited to show you guys. When we were in the store, I showed you guys the Caressa body washes. Those were so freaking pretty. I did have to decide between one or the other though, just because in reality, I would love to collect them all, but I'm about to go to like Dollar General and the Family Dollar soon. And I heard they have some like exclusive scents there. So I'm super excited. So right now, the, the one thing that I did get that was the Caressa body wash, it was the Lotus and Co. Copaiba, Copaiba oil. This one is such a beautiful luxury color. Look at this, like the deep sensual purple. I am literally obsessed, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. I, the one thing that I do love about Caress Body Wash is that they look so luxe. Like, it looks so expensive. And she's like, what, $3.99? Like, literally, it's one of my favorite things ever. Let's give her a little bit of a sniff test. Look at this. Oh, I hate it when there's like stuff on the cap, actually. Ooh, you guys, this actually gives me like Bath and Body Works Into the Night vibes, but a lighter version. There's something else to it though. It's not just Into the Night. Into the Night is potent, 
but this will go really good with Into the Night. This one smells so freaking bomb. Just a really quick, like, briefing things that I did end up getting that aren't really hygiene related. I ended up getting some of the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polishes just because I've been getting back into painting my nails. And my sister took all the nail polishes back in at our hometown. So I had to buy some for myself. So this one's like a really cute lilac color. Oh my gosh, so freaking gorgeous. Love that. And then we also have a little nice little pink color. I think this would be cute for springtime. And lastly, I ended up getting this really cute like iridescent little sparkling one. The color isn't too obnoxious, which is why I ended up getting it. And I thought it would be something fun to like pair it like right on top with the polish or by itself. But I haven't really done glittery polish on itself in so long. Like so ever since I was a kid. I don't know. If you end up doing that though... You do you, okay? I'm not trying to judge, but I haven't done that in a while. But those are the nail polishes that I did end up getting. And I did get a couple of Tree Hut body scrubs. I know, I've seen the new ones, but, and you guys have actually said, why are you waiting for a sale? Like, it's gonna take forever to get a sale, but I just can't justify paying $8.99. I'll probably just wait and let the hype die down, so then they'll probably make a sale. But who knows? We'll see if I end up buying the bullet or not. So I ended up getting two of the ones that I, one I haven't tried, and then one I love and I really like. The first one I have is Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. You cannot go wrong with this one, especially if you don't like such a strong scent. Oh my gosh, this one is one of my favorites. It's made with vitamin C and alpha hydroxy acid and shea butter. And this is for like bright looking skin. It's honestly probably just a gimmick just because you wash it off, but oh yeah, it's very refreshing, very spa-like. And I love it when it looks clean like this. I hate it because later when I have to shower, I have to scoop my finger on top and I'd rather dip my fingers in the product. I don't know, I'm so freaking weird. And then the next one I ended up getting, this is the first This is the first time I've ever had this one. This is a Coco Colada Shea Scrub and it has pineapple and coconut. So it's like a pina colada kind of mix. And normally I wouldn't get something like this, but I wanna start collecting tree hut scrubs again because I do have a big collection. With hygiene products, when I started getting to like the TikTok side of things, I started with tree hut scrubs. Those were the hype. And look, yes, you guys, clean. I love it when it's clean. Oh, it's a little bit dirty, but look at this. Look at consistency. This reminds me of the lemon blueberry tart color. Yeah, it's not too heavy. I actually quite like it. So I'm really looking forward to try the scent out. Maybe like a coconut, pina colada type of scented body care routine. So the next product that I ended up getting, I have been waiting for like a little sale and apparently this was 20% off too. So until March 13th of 2021, if you've been dying to try this brand, then go ahead and grab one because uh, Target, uh, my Target specifically, they have like all the colors of the rainbow. They have like a citrus one. That would have been really good for my lemon skincare routine. Anyway, I didn't want to get a whole big bottle of it, but this is the one and only Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. I ended up getting the almond one just because I didn't want to get something too pepperminty or like too plain, you know? Like I wanted to have a little bit of a fragrance. So this one's actually sealed too. And also make sure you check the ones that are sealed because sometimes I've seen people like open them and like tear it out and then they like I don't know like they'll put it back in and then they pretend that it was never open in the first place oh my gosh this smells just this smells so freaking good I love almond anything almond smells so freaking amazing but if you're allergic to almond obviously don't get this um, I have a friend who is allergic to tree nuts and that's like macadamia pistachios almonds so she can't smell this stuff because you know she's definitely allergic <laughs> and we don't want to risk that you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm really looking forward to try this because there's so much hype of this and i heard you have to dilute this super super well so like a little bit of this goes a long way and there's like so many other types of ways to use this product so i'm looking forward to this and this was only 11 dollars for this for the big one too because normally it's 14 dollars where i live so i scored okay i love scoring Amazing deal, so amazing. And then also the Tree Hut Scrubs retailed for, how much did you retail for, boo? How much did you cost? $5.27, and that's a really good deal for Tree Hut Scrubs, especially sometimes you see them at TJ Maxx, they're still like $4.99, so I thought I did a pretty good job. Okay, so next up we have TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, they, she never does anyone wrong. I really want to just get a couple of essential things because there wasn't really many body care products, honestly, that I was really interested to. They did have a lot of body shop body butters, but I don't know. I just really wasn't interested in them. Maybe one day. Um, I ended up getting this. I already tried it on, actually. This is like a shower cap, okay? And I really wanted to get one because 
I always have like my hair up and then my videos look so weird so I want to like have something too to like waterproof it up because usually it has been getting annoying to just like have like some parts of my hair that's wet because I don't, I don't know I'm sometimes accidental prone <laughs> not on purpose though of course so like sometimes there's patches of my hair that's wet and then I have to like wait for it to dry because if you have Asian hair and you understand the freaking oh my gosh literally some people that I know like my uh, Caucasian white friends they can go to sleep with their hair wet and when they wake up it's dry it's perfect but with Asian hair it looks greasy like you can't go to sleep with your hair wet because it looks so freaking weird like it dries so freaking weird let me know down below if you've had that situation and if you're like Asian descent I don't know it's so weird I ended up getting this one this was like four dollars and look at this oh my gosh like why why did you already break on me like i i don't even know but you can like put this on to like the shower walls i also fell into the hype with more tiktok hygiene accessories and and, it, and i bit the bullet and i ended up getting these exploiting spa gloves and these were 3.99 so it was like a dollar a piece it comes in two sets so i can you know reuse reduce and i'm so freaking excited you can use this as a dry brush and also exfoliating in the shower i've seen people use it different ways different methods and I'm so freaking excited because oh, I can finally test and see if like it's worth like the hype because so many people rave about using exfoliating gloves and lastly I was trying to find this so freaking hard I was looking at the perfume section which I didn't even know my store had until like I like walked the other way with the where the pur purses are like if you are a TJ Maxx it's the same as mine they have the purses at the entry and then they have the perfumes and then they have the beauty products and then the shoes that's what mine looks like let me know what yours looks like maybe they're the same because it looks the same as my hometown too but I recently saw the perfume section and I was scouring for this scent. I was like, oh no, they don't have it. And then I found a little other bin and they had it. And I was like, yes, I need to get this because I have been eyeing this for so freaking long since February. That was literally last month um, before Valentine's Day. And I finally got this. This was $21.99, but I looked at it retail price for like other places and it cost like $40, $40, $45. And this is the one and only Pink Sugar. This is my second perfume that I've ever owned in my entire life. I'm not saying that I'm trying to get into perfumes, but this, you guys, it smells so good. I smelled it early and I sprayed it on my body. And literally, this stuff is so strong. I can still smell it on my body right now. I spent it an hour ago with my boyfriend, like, because I was showing him my haul. Because I always show him my stuff before I show you guys. I don't know. You still get the exclusive, but, like, he has to get the exclusive first because he's dating me. So, this is what the bottle looks like. Oh, my gosh smack crackle pop i love it oh my gosh it looks like a ballerina like thingy and then they do the tiptoe it's so freaking cute oh my gosh it's so sugary so pink this reminds me of sugar lavender twist by better homes and gardens if you love that wax melt this is literally it okay like if you want it in a freaking home fragrance form get sugar lavender twist this stuff Oh, oh my gosh, I love it so freaking much. I don't know what it is with this, but it's such a sweet, like a super sugary scent. Almost like cotton candy, but not like a sugary, perfumey cotton candy. I'm so freaking excited. And the it does last for 36 months. So that's like a year and a half, right? I don't know. Let me do my math. I can't. But yeah, I'm really excited to have this in my collection, finally, along with my Midnight Fantasy from my middle school days. I need to get a new bottle of Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. Love the scent, honestly. I do. I want to try Fantasy too, but I, I need to figure out where to buy it. But you guys, that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this freaking video. I am going on a rampage. Like, this is crazy, right? Like, what the heck? Like, iconic what the heck what am i doing i am going to be showering right after this video i feel gross i've been outside i need to cleanse my body but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough let me know down below what else you guys want to see from me like what is the content that you want to see from Catherine? not really much much yeah you're right yeah <laughs> honestly i just love showing you guys things and i really do this for fun i don't really do this to please anyone and i will have some more content for you guys in the future i post every day so it's already crazy enough but let me know down below what your scent of the day is mine is obviously this because i just sprayed this an hour ago and i will talk to you guys later bye guys